Welcome to our continuing series, Fine Poetry. And today we complete our reading of the poems of Emily Dickinson that I have chosen for their uniqueness, their beauty, and at times their profound depth. The soul unto itself. The soul unto itself is an imperial friend or the most agonizing spy an enemy could send. Secure against its own, no treason it can fear. Itself, its sovereign, of itself, the soul should stand in awe. I'm nobody. Who are you? I'm nobody. Who are you? Are you nobody too? Then there's a pair of us. Don't tell. They'd advertise, you know. How dreary to be somebody. How public, like a frog, to tell one's name that livelong June to an admiring bog. It's all I have to bring today. It's all I have to bring today, this and my heart beside, this and my heart, and all the fields, and all the meadows wide. Be sure you count, should I forget, some one the sum could tell. This, and my heart, and all the bees which in the clover dwell. A day. I'll tell you how the sun rose, a ribbon at a time. The steeples swam in amethyst, the news like squirrels ran. The hills untied their bonnets, the bobolinks begun. Then I said softly to myself, that must have been the sun. But how he set, I know not. There seemed a purple style, which little yellow boys and girls were climbing all the while, till when they reached the other side, a dominie in gray put gently up the evening bars and led the flock away. Dear March, come in. I hoped for you before. Put down your hat. You must have walked. How out of breath you are. Dear March, how are you? And the rest? Did you leave nature well? Oh, March, come right upstairs with me. I have so much to tell. I got your letter. And the birds... The maples never knew that you were coming. I declare how red their faces grew. But March, forgive me, and all those hills you left for me to hew. There was no purple suitable. You took it all with you. Who knocks? That April, lock the door. I will not be pursued. He stayed away a year to call when I am occupied. But trifles look so trivial as soon as you have come. That blame is just as dear as praise and praise as mere as blame. 
A drop fell on the apple tree. A drop fell on the apple tree. Another on the roof. A half a dozen kissed the eaves and made the gables laugh. A few went out to help the brook that went to help the sea. Myself conjectured, were they pearls? What necklaces could be? The dust replaced in hoisted roads. The birds jocoser sung. The sunshine threw his hat away. The bushes spangles flung. The breezes brought dejected lutes and bathed them in the glee. The Orient showed a single flag and signed the fete away. A lane of yellow led the eye. A lane of yellow led the eye unto a purple wood whose soft inhabitants to be surpasses solitude. If bird the silence contradict or flower presume to show in that low summer of the West, impossible to know. There is no frigate like a book. There is no frigate like a book to take us lands away, nor any courses like a page of prancing poetry. This traverse may the poorest take without a press of toil. How frugal is the chariot that bears a human soul. My life closed twice before its close. My life closed twice before its close. It yet remains to see if immortality unveil a third event to me so huge, so hopeless to conceive as these that twice befell. Parting is all we know of heaven and all we need of hell. Two butterflies went out at noon. Two butterflies went out at noon and waltzed above a farm. They stepped straight through the firmament and rested on a beam, and then together bore away upon a shining sea, though never yet in any port their coming mentioned be. If spoken by the distant bird, it met in ether sea, by frigate or by merchantman, no notice was to me. And the last poem. One sister have I in our house. One sister have I in our house, and one a hedge away. There's only one recorded, but both belong to me. One came the way that I came and wore my past year's gown. The other, as a bird, her nest, builded our hearts among. She did not sing as we did. It was a different tune herself to her a music as a bumblebee of June. Today is far from childhood, but up and down the hills, I held her hand the tighter, which shortened all the miles, and still her hum, the years among, deceives the butterfly, still in her eye 
the violets lie moldered this many may I split the dew but took the morn I chose this single star from out the wide night's numbers sue forevermore